Hi, this is Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com and I've got a couple of the iPad docs here and I want to uh, show you real quick not because uh, we're reviewing them this week but I just kind of want to show you a little bit to kind of introduce this next product. Now here we have the Apple doc and as you can see it works nicely in portrait mode it's made the Apple way, it's nice and small just kind of looks nice but so one trick Charlie, I mean it works one way and one way only. You put it in portrait mode and that's it. If you don't want to put your iPad in portrait mode, you don't use Apple's product. That's the Apple way. We also have the iPad Space Dock. I've reviewed this before. It's a really great product. It's my favorite dock. It's nice and small but it works both ways. And uh, it's really great for mobile applications. You can unscrew that, put that in a bag, and it's perfect. But then we have the opposite of both of these, and that is <laughs> this beast here. SMK Link made this. They sent it over to us to review. It's called the Pad Dock 10, and uh, it's uh, meant to allow you to listen to music, charge the iPad, uh, you can sync it, and it says it rotates. Um, and so, you know, it's it, a uh, pretty interesting product. And so when we saw this, we wanted to review it. We asked them to send us one, and they did. So we're going to go ahead and open it up for you. Now, I've already broken the seals on this. Not much to the packaging there. Put that in a second. There's a box. Sorry about that. Plastic off, and there it is. That's the Pad Dock 10. It's pretty simple. Now, this looks maybe on camera like it's metal, but it's actually a hard plastic. Um, it's very heavy, the base of it. That's not, that's not going to fall over or tip over or anything like that. You'll notice that it does twist. In fact, you can rotate it every way. Here on the back, I don't know if you can see that too well, but it's got a place for power. The power spot is right there, and a mini USB port right there. I guess that's for syncing. I do want to go ahead and show you what was in this. It's uh, basically just a couple of connectors. See, it's got the mini USB and regular USB. You'll plug that in, I guess, to your computer for charging and syncing, or for syncing purposes. And then, of course, we have the power cable, and it's also USB. Uh, it's interesting that uh, they chose to put a USB power cable instead of um, putting in a, uh, a regular power cable that would plug into a wall. Also, you can see that it's got speakers here in the back, and uh, then it's got a volume dial switch right there, a um, little power light indicator. I guess that's to show you that the speaker is actually turned on. Um, and then the dock connector is right there. So let's go ahead and put the iPad in it. It pops on there real easy. It's got a little lip right there that grabs it. It clicks into place. So you can then turn it on. And looks nice. It seems to give perfect access to the power point, the volume switch, and the orientation lock, which is about to turn into a mute volume switch. The uh, speaker ports are down there. Now there's a button right here. I'm guessing that is to switch it between charge and sync, or maybe just to turn it on. I'm not sure. We haven't played with it too much yet, but notice it'll rotate all the way around. It tilts Looks like it's got pretty good there. It's not uh, too bad. So you can hold it at that degree and even if you wanted to have your keyboard there, dash it out of the way when you're not using it. This would be great. I could see this as having this uh, right next to my computer monitor and plugging it in and then uh, using it for air display to give me a second second monitor, or third monitor actually in my setup. 
Alright, so as you can see, I've got the iPad sitting next to my MacBook Air, and we've plugged in the cables. One of them, of course, is going to um, one of them, of course, over here. Let me pan a little bit. That's going to the USB port on my MacBook Air. Plugged it in over there because that's usually the where I plug it in. And then the other cable, the one that goes to the power. Uh, we read the instructions, which is always a nice thing to do, and it said it's designed for you to plug it into um, the power brick that came with your iPad. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we have the power uh, connected. Alright, so what you can see over here is the power button. You can see that it is now getting power and immediately over here it says sync in progress I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that for now but uh, over here iPhoto came up I don't have a lot of pictures on here that I haven't imported iPhoto came up and um, iTunes came up so you notice that it is syncing right away Name, Alright, so uh, now Same we're give no name. showing a movie on uh, Netflix. A dog? A dog. No name. There's the sound off. Barely on. Only the dog gets out. Right, right, because dogs are smaller. And all the way up. Now, one of the problems I always have with the. Runs up the hill and rings the bell. I, I just don't understand why people put speakers on the back. And that's one problem that this I can already see. Lassie pictures always grows high. So instead of a disease... I thought if I put something behind there to get it to bounce yeah, off, but that kid, doesn't work. There is no kid. Kids are because the speakers are on the back. They've got all this room right here. Why don't you just put them on the front? Let's ask the writer. What do you think, Pete? Try to simulate surround sound. It just doesn't work. Um, for that reason, the speaking, the, the sound is just a little bit muddled. Just... Amazing turn it around and the sound is actually you know it's okay it's, it, you're not going to win any prizes with this so to be honest with you if I uh, use this it's not going to be to watch movies and listen to music on the thing except you know just when you really need something uh, the, the speakers on it just are just okay they're not any better than the iPad speakers themselves so that's probably the biggest weakness to this thing already just in five minutes of using it is the speakers but we'll put it through its paces give it a little bit more time and uh, if that's the only thing wrong with it, then in my opinion, this product is a win. Um, I sort of have a feeling that, uh, you know, we'll probably find a few other things uh, that we don't like. I always do. But uh, other than just that, the issue with the speakers right now, um, I really like it. If you want to sync your iPad, you put it in the bottom, the lower s spot. And if you want to simply charge it, you put it in the uh, the top spot there and of course now I've got a full charge so that actually charged pretty quick it was about uh, 90 percent I've only had it plugged in for a few seconds like about five minutes or so put it down you hear the thing saying it's charging or sinking or getting ready to sink rather see sink in progress um, so we're gonna test it use it for a while and give you our full review of it but uh, it's such a unique product, such an interesting and different product that I wanted to show it to you. Now I happened to be at a Best Buy store yesterday and saw Rocket Fish. That's the Best Buy brand. Uh, they had something extremely similar to this. And so this is probably just a, an OEM product that they're remanufactured or that they're rebadging as their own. Uh, probably different ones that will have something very much like it. In fact, the boxing at uh, Best Buy looked exactly like this. So um, there's probably going to be a few of these show up. We want to show it to you since, it, since it is such a, a unique product and uh, my initial reaction is I, I like it. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, I can see myself putting this on my desk and leaving it there and uh, a great way to charge the iPad when you're not using it. Um, so this has been Kevin Purcell with the Pad Dock 10 for the Apple iPad for Notebooks.com. Thanks for watching.